hey guys welcome back to the channel i'm back with the the gmc canyon here and it needs a battery change it's original to the truck from 2018 and it still starts but the days that are cold uh, north carolina cold it definitely um, starts a little slower than than it should and i think if it gets too cold it might not even start uh, so i just want to change it out before i get to that point where it leaves me stranded so what you need for uh, this job is not much really so we got a battery i just went with an, a lower end battery um you know the truck has 200,000 miles on it so uh well yeah i don't need another five years uh out of the battery i don't know how long the truck's gonna last or what i'm gonna do with it so it meets the stock specs which is a 615 amp uh cold cranking amp battery and you need a, a deep socket 13 mil and a 10 mil and that be it really um so what we need to get started on is just uh, remove the negative cable first and then there's a little clip here then we got our positive here uh, we'll remove those and then there's just a a bracket that holds the battery down and then this whole fuse assembly here actually unclips as well and i'll show you that in the video but we'll go ahead and get started on the negative uh, terminal Alright, so if you come to the top of the terminal, there's a 10 millimeter. I'll just go ahead and loosen that up. Then the terminal should pop right out. Okay, there's that. Just put that to the side for now. Alright, now time for the positive side. So once again, it's a 10 mil. Loosen that up. And um, we'll need to pop this uh, fuse block as we pop everything up. Okay. So to remove this fuse block here, there's actually a clip towards the bottom here. If you push down with your palm, then up with your fingers, it comes up here. Then there's another one right down here, which you gotta do the same thing. And that side will pop up. Let's see if I can get it here. There you go. Okay, now that that's loose, we can uh, move this out of the way enough to uh, get the battery out. Okay, so now I've got to loosen the, the bracket that actually holds the battery down, which is a 13 mil. the bracket up the whole thing just clips out with a little uh, edge here okay now that we got that loose there's another bolt down here that we got to loosen up which actually has a clamp towards the bottom okay I'll take it right out myself Probably don't need to go all the way, but there seems to be a lot of leaves and stuff down there, so maybe it'll be good to take it right out. And that's the clamp that holds the bottom part of the battery down. Now we should be loose, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Get the battery out, just like that. Ugh. Gotta put it in the right way. Ugh. All right, so I'll get it centered up here. Then we'll drop our, uh, our bracket down here. You see the edge here, that goes towards the battery. And we got the bracket here. The short uh, side goes towards the top. Okay. 
you could tighten that down pretty good so it doesn't move around all right so we'll get our bracket back in as well uh, this goes underneath this cable here okay goes right over there put the nut back on which once again is 13 mil for the socket Okay, there's that. And then we'll come back over here and let me see if I can turn you down a little more. We'll pull our positive cap off. That should slide on. Then we'll push down to, to lock this, this fuse thing in place here. So we're locked in. Put that back on. Okay, that's a 10 mil. Okay. All right, so we gotta get our negative uh, cable back on. Okay, there's that. And we just gotta tighten it down with a 10 mil. Okay. That just clips back on. That's tight. The bracket's tight. The cables are tight, so we should be ready to start it up. All right, folks, I, there you have it. Um, you know, pretty simple battery change. I think uh, some of the older cars, you probably won't have to worry about the fuse uh, portion being on top, but a lot of the newer vehicles are doing it that way. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm.